toads can live further away from water. This forest in Costa Rica is full of frogs calling to their mates. There don't seem to be many pools and streams around here. So how do they breed? The strawberry poison arrow frog carries its tadpole on its back. The tadpole hatched out on the ground, but now it gets a piggyback as mum begins a mother of a climb. One at a time, she carries each one of her four or five tadpoles all the way up into the trees. Each to its own cradle in the canopy. An egg cup sized pond in these hanging gardens up to seven meters above the forest floor. And after all this effort, Mum's still got more work to do. A few days later, she must make the same climb all over again. Because although her tadpole has got water in its treetop nursery, it has no food. So it waits, like a chick in its nest. As she lowers herself in, the tadpole headbutts her even giving her a nip until she lays an infertile egg for it to eat. With these regular food parcels, the tadpole has all it needs in its tiny world to grow into a frog. Strawberry poison arrow frogs may be the hardest working frog mothers on earth, but another frog is the most devoted father. <laughs> 